Hey everyone, uh, welcome to another video. I hope that wherever you are in the world that you're doing well. Um, today's video is a video that I'm really happy to share with you um, because it's from one of the funnest solo outings that I took um, in the three months that I was in Italy. Um, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you some uh, just some journal videos and journal pictures uh, that I took uh, when I went to Torino. But before we jump into that, I wanna let you know that I put chapters in today's video. If you look in the description, there are timestamps and you just click on whatever you wanna go to and it will just jump there. I also wanted to take a quick moment to say thank you to all of you who have sent me such encouraging messages. I find them quite uplifting and uh, I'm working on developing the inner strength to just be myself in front of the camera and just kind of let the chips fall where they fall. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and shut up now because it will, this video is not about that. Um, but uh, I hope that you enjoyed today's episode as much as I enjoyed experiencing and making it. And uh, with no further ado, let's get started. On November 5th of 2020, I got into a car and I drove an hour into the city of Torino. I had never been there before, um, but I can tell you that from the moment that I entered its city limits, I knew that this would be a unique and amazing experience for me. I remember finding an underground parking garage and then going up these steps that led to this uh, energy-filled piazza. And I just, I felt a sense of urgency to run up those steps and to photograph whatever I could find. Uh, it was an interesting uh, outing because a couple of days prior, uh, the Italian government had made an announcement that for the second time since the pandemic started, uh, Italy would be going into a lockdown. And I can only assume that a lot of the people that were out on this particular evening were doing what I was doing. That we were just out trying to enjoy uh, being out in the open for the last time before we'd have to go uh, indoors into this lockdown. By far, I would say that um, my favorite thing to photograph or my favorite subjects to photograph are people and uh, specifically characters. I love characters. And it didn't even take me four or five minutes, uh, you know, walking out into that piazza uh, to realize that Torino was filled with characters. I had so much fun on this particular day. Um, I remember getting out of that uh, parking garage, entering that piazza and feeling attracted to the water to the river and as I was walking there I noticed that on the other side of the river um, there was a man who was feeding a bunch of birds because they were all flying around and uh, I made my way there and when I saw him I don't even know how to describe this but he looked like he was out of time he looked like he was from a different era like he just stepped out of a time machine from the 1950s or like the 1960s or something like that and um, I find it extremely charming whenever I'm in a place or I'm around people where there's like an old style that uh, is blending really nicely and complementing present day styles uh, when there's that harmony and uh, I don't know. Uh, I found a lot of that in Torino. I really loved the way people were dressed in Torino. In fact, I think that photographing people and the way that they were dressed uh, was my favorite part of this particular outing.
In addition to the people uh, in Torino, um, one of my initial impressions right from the very beginning was that uh, I remember thinking to myself, wow, this city is really cinematic. I saw this uh, really beautiful girl and she was rowing this boat and I remember looking at her and thinking, what a romantic image this is to me. If I could swap places with her, um, would she be as intrigued by my lifestyle? Would she be as intrigued by Los Angeles as I am by Torino? Um, or would she miss this place desperately? And would I miss the edginess of Los Angeles if I were to remain here for an extended period of time? But for sure the highlight of this next segment that you're gonna see is when I saw these kids and they were in a boat and they were all rowing together. Well, all of them except for one who was like the bossy one of them all. And uh, they were kind of arguing a little bit, not in a combative way, um, more like the way kids do, right? Like, no, go this way, go that way. No, you're not rowing fast enough. And uh, in Italian, obviously. And, uh, um, but that made me happy for some reason. I think it reminded me of some of the scenes from that uh, Netflix series, uh, Stranger Things which reminds me of my childhood and I think uh, something about watching these kids there in this I don't know cinematic place uh, with the Sun going down just I don't know it it, uh, it made me feel happy and I thought it was worth sharing So something interesting happens whenever I go out, especially on these days where I feel really happy and elated. There comes a point where I start to notice the other side of the coin. The pictures that you're gonna see now, I was walking back towards that bridge, I crossed it, and then continued to walk till the next bridge. And something about this segment of the walk, I started to notice um, like the everyday people, you know, not the romantic stuff, but like the everyday people, people riding their bike to get home, the, the slouching jogger, um, the lonely people, the pensive people, the forgotten people, the landscapes that are so great and beautiful that they can make, uh, sometimes they can make us feel small in a big city. I don't know if it was my mood that made me notice those things or if it was noticing those things that affected my mood. But either way, in any case, um, here is this next segment.
Okay, at this point, the sun had gone down. It was dark already, it was pretty much nighttime. And normally I would call it a day, but because Italy was gonna go into lockdown the following day, I decided to stay. And not necessarily uh, to make photographs, but just to kind of walk around and get to see Torino at night. And so I, um, I walked down this walkway on the opposite side of the river, on this main street. And eventually I found a little walkway that took me down to the edge of the river. I sat there for about 20, 30 minutes, just uh, contemplating. When I felt like it was time to go home, I, I don't know, I was just felt really at peace looking at the way that the city lights would reflect off of the river. And I thought, you know, I'm gonna make a couple of pictures with the X100. Uh, as I was going back to the car, I decided that I would take out my XF10 and make a couple of pictures. Um, let me just go ahead and show you this last segment. Thank you so much for watching this video and for your continued support. And uh, I hope to see you in the next one, okay? Have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on when you're watching this. And uh, thanks again, bye.